Hi, crafty friends. Welcome back. I'm still here. I'm still alive. <laughs> it's been a few minutes. It's been a while since I've uh, put out a video, about a week or so. Um, but as I say, I put them out when I can. So welcome back. I'm glad you're here. And this is what I'm working on today. Um, just some more Christmas crafts. Some little gingerbread style houses. They are very rough looking. This is the one I just finished painting, so the paint's still wet. All I did was I cut up some cardboard into the shapes. This is actually like cracker boxes or something. And I glued two together. I don't know if you can tell. I did such a good job that you can't even tell it's two pieces. Um, yeah, you can't even tell. So it makes a nice hard cardstock. And then I started, you know, trying to draw out some shapes and stuff with my white Sharpie. But that didn't work. My Sharpie didn't work at all. So, I mean, I've done this before and I've used the Sharpie and it makes a really nice, crisp, fine line, which I really like, but it wasn't working today. So I've been using, oops, my, um, just some regular acrylic craft paint. And I painted these with the skinniest brush I have, which, you know, I thought was a pretty, pretty good tip on there um, but it's still making really fat lines but I'm okay with that because I feel like icing is thick and it's you know gloopy so and you can see where I've kind of made it so it looks like I'm trying to make it look like snow on the roof and on the ledges of the window so I'm gonna go over and over just keep adding layers and yeah, we'll see how it turns out in the end. I might add um, some other colors. I might, I don't know what I'm going to do exactly at this point. But for now, I'm going to move these out of the way. Oh, I hit my water bottle. And we're going to paint one together so that you can kind of see how, I, how I've done it. And this is all just out of my brain. I'm, I have no plan. I have not pre-drawn anything. I'm just, <laughs> as I usually do, I'm winging it. Now, let's make sure we're on screen. Okay, if I push up, push up a little bit, then you can see me. Okay, and of course, it'll be hard to see because my hand's going to be in the way, but, um, yeah, I'm just making random um, designs. So on that one, I did kind of a scallop looking thing. I think on this one, I want to try doing maybe um, more icicle-y looking, snowy looking. My paint is quite thick, so that is helping with the overall look. Just giving it some texture. As if it just snowed. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like that. And every now and then I'm washing my brush off and trying to make my point come back, but it's hard. I'm, I have not had an easy time of this, put it that way. Let's see, if we do a window here and a window here, and as I said, it's not perfect, but that I'm okay with that. Like you can see, I'm not having any luck painting a straight line anywhere. 
but I think it's okay. Just gonna make some windows. Hopefully around the same size. set maybe in our little apartment block yeah I'm doing my Christmas crafting but I'm totally making it um, doing my crafts by hand I try not to buy much decor and stuff I like to make make things myself as you know so I think I'm gonna paint this guy in because on that one I didn't and I want them all to be different Filling it in a little, and I wonder if we should have a stoop. Let's have a stoop. Yeah, I know it looks rough, right? But that's okay. It's gonna be fabulous, fabulous. Just reusing some cardboard. Some old paint I have. And we're just going to, I think this will be a garland, actually. Or, um, I guess it's a garland, I don't know. Maybe that's not the right word. It's a thing you're gonna, I'm gonna hang on my window. So we'll just let this dry. I'm going to go back up here and I think I'm going to paint in my windows on this one. So we've been away again. We were gone for a few days down to Calgary to visit our girls. We have two daughters that live there. Two married daughters. So they each have their own home. And, oh, it's just so nice to spend time with my girls, especially together. When, they, when, when my two girls are together, I just really enjoy that because it's like the old old times, listening to them giggle and carry on, and <laughs> it's just so good. So good. I could just listen to them visit and gossip and share parts of their lives with each other, and it just makes me very happy to be with my kids. And then our son actually, also was in Calgary with his family. So we got to see all of our children together, which so rarely happens. So that was really nice. A wonderful thing to do before Christmas starts is have a little family time before we all get too busy. And yeah, it was just lovely. Nice weekend, got to see my grandkids as well. So that was fun. Does it look like there's snow sitting on these window ledges? I hope that's how it's looking because that's the look I'm going for. 
snow hides a lot of stuff. <laughs> if you don't know, snow hides a lot of stuff. I always loved when we lived in town and I'd say, oh, it snowed. Now my yard looks as good as my neighbor's yard. Now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We got to decorate it a little bit. Um, we could just do some well, dots work always, but what if we did, what if we just went like a small dot, a bigger dot, a bigger dot, a bigger dot, a biggest dot, something like that. Now let's try and match that, shall we? Small dot. Bigger dot. Oh, bigger. Oh, this side is shakier. Ah, that's okay. And maybe we'll do some dots along the top. There we go. And maybe down the center. Just random. Maybe I'm overdoing it. It's a polka dot building, maybe. Oops, there we go. Okay, so we could do that. I will just keep on adding snow, layers of snow. And then once it's dry, we can come back in and build up some other colors. Just kind of tapping my brush to make it textured, a little bumpy. I kind of like how the windows look frosty. At least they look frosty to me. Just do a little bit of a line here, outline. So we did some shopping in Calgary, quite a bit of shopping. Um, went to Michael's, Ikea, HomeSense, you know, all the places. Of course, we went to Old Navy because I, I like getting my clothes there, if I can. Um, seem to have the only, it's the only place that seems to have jeans that fit me. So, tend to go there for my jeans. Oh, I'm liking it. Kind of cool. Okay, we gotta let it dry. Can you see that, how it's looking? I think it's looking kind of neat. Oh, I'm gonna rinse my brush. Now, do any of the other ones that I've done need a little more paint? 
paint. While that one's drying, we could work on this one a little more, I think. Yeah, uh, there's a few spots. I wanna add a little bit more snow. It's a good thing my paint is so thick and gloopy. It's working in my favor, I think. My one daughter, it's her first time being in a, a big enough space that she can actually decorate. So she was excited. I brought her a, oops, brought her a Christmas tree and she's going to decorate her, her tree in her house. So that's fun. I remember being excited about stuff like that when I was young. I think I'll just bring that down because I've made a mess of it. There, that fixed that. I've gone through a few years where I haven't decorated at all. I mean, most times we're not home for Christmas. We're either visiting my husband's family or our kids somewhere. Um, so we're very rarely home at Christmas, which is fine by me. I prefer to go away or just stay home and do absolutely nothing because I'm lazy. I'm so lazy. So I don't haven't decorated for years because and then because of the cats, you know, they're such pests like you put up a decoration and they think it's there for their their playtime, right? Like. So I haven't decorated at all for years. But this year, I'm thinking I might do just a little bit. Things that they can't get into, like hanging things like I'm doing with this. Hopefully they don't find a way to hang off of it. Although I wouldn't put it past them. Oh, it's hard when your brush is so thick. You want to get the nice lines and you can't. There. Okay, maybe we better stop there. Because I am just making a big old gloopy mess. But it's supposed to look like icing, right? So icing is thick and... gunky looking. Apparently gingerbread houses are the rage this Christmas. I've seen them everywhere. And since I'm so on trend, I thought I'd make some. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. And then we'll come back once they're dry and maybe we'll embellish them a little bit more. Okay, so be right back. Hi, I'm back. And you won't believe it, but I did film me painting these. And the whole video I was off camera again. So you don't get to see how I painted them, but I just added a little bit of green and red to every house. Sometimes I did a little bit of um, Sharpie to emphasize some of the spots. Oh, I can't believe that I didn't even have it all. I mean, <sighs> Yeah, filmed it all. Filmed me doing every part of this craft. And most of the time I was off camera with the second half where I added in the color. But I think you get the idea. It's It wasn't like I'm some great artist trying to do it. So yeah, so there they are. And now what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'm gonna just string them 
probably just glue some string onto the back or you can get those little um, clothes pins, those little wooden clothes pins. I might get some of those and string it on some twine. And then this is going to go on one of my windows upstairs. So if I do a Christmas house tour, you'll see it then. But for today, I'm going to say I'm done with this video because I've, I've just run out of steam <laughs> and patience. <laughs> get so frustrated with myself when I screw things up, like filming the whole thing without you being able to see it. Okay, well anyways, I'll try again next time to do a better job of filming. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I can't wait to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.